she decided to go to the bathroom on me some more, so I'm all in. Okay, so I brought this little guy out here. Does anybody know what this is? A porcupine? Not a porcupine, but a it's, hedgehog. it is a hedgehog. This is called an African pygmy hedgehog. It is probably the smallest hedgehog that you will see. There's about 15 different types. But you said that it was a porcupine, right? Because you thought, because you saw these, right? First of all, how many here have heard that a porcupine can actually throw or shoot its quills? Okay, that is false information. They cannot shoot them, they can't throw them. Whatever is trying to get them actually has to um, come in contact with them. That's why they turn around and run backwards really fast so they can actually touch the predator that's trying to bite them and then they release them into that predator. But this guy here does not have quills. A lot of people think that these are quills. And again, I woke him up, so he's going to the bathroom on me. It's a daily thing, guys. It's okay. Um, so this guy actually has this thing called spikes or spines because they're permanent. The only way this guy loses them is he has to shed them like a dog does fur, but not all at once because then we would have a naked hedgehog and he wouldn't be able to protect himself, right? So what he does is, let's let him finish going to the bathroom here because I don't want to wear that. There we go. Okay, so what he does is when he feels scared, he might not do it because he's pretty used to these shows and he, there we go. He's gonna try to roll in a ball here. Come on. And these are gonna come straight up like this. And then if that predator comes down, what's gonna happen? Owie, right? Nobody wants to eat that for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, right? No way. So that's how this guy protects himself. And then he unrolls and he goes about his business. Now, how many people know, we'll say it on the count of three, when an animal is up all night and sleeps during the day, don't say it, but what is that called? On the count of three, we'll say it together. Ready? One, two, three. Nocturnal. Nocturnal. So this guy here is nocturnal. If you look at his little eyes, though, do you see that they're, they're not very big, are they? No. They're kind of just like a little dot, right? Mm -hmm. So he can't use those eyes very good at all. It takes him a while to find his food if he's looking for it. But the cool thing about this guy is that nose and that ears kind of go into like an overtime. And what happens is he's going to actually use those ears and those nose a lot more. And he can actually smell and hear stuff below the surface, dig it up and eat it. With that said, what does he eat? Bugs. So this guy loves his bugs. His nickname is called the gardener's friend. And what he does is he actually um, eats all those nasty bugs. Okay, all those nasty bugs that eat the garden. So that's why he's called the gardener's friend. It's a pretty good name for him, huh, if he eats all that nasty stuff. But if you look at Mr. Stinker here, there's something different about him. He's all white with red eyes. Does anybody know what that is called? He is an albino. So what that means is that he was born without a thing called pigment. Okay, and that pigment is what makes your eyes blue, green, brown, okay, it makes your hair brown, blonde, red, okay, that's the pigment, it helps protect us, okay, this guy was not born with it, so that's, that's why he's white with red eyes. Now, there is something actually pretty sad about this guy, and that is that I cannot let you guys touch him, okay, believe it or not, hedgehogs are actually illegal in PA, you cannot own them for a pet, you can't even touch them, because believe it or not, they could be a carrier of TB, tuberculosis. But this guy here has been tested and tested and tested. Anything that is actually in our zoo, um, actually has been tested and they don't have anything, okay? We have a lot, a lot of laws we have to follow and a lot of things that we have to do before we even get our animals, okay? So I can't let you touch him, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get out another cool animal we're gonna talk about. And it actually is a related to a hedgehog. Okay, it's like a cousin. Okay, but it doesn't have spikes or spines. It doesn't have quills. It doesn't have feathers. It has a thing called plates or armor. An armadillo. So I'm gonna go get Miss uh, Emmy, and we're gonna go ahead and talk about her. Okay? No, he's in there. He's in. They're in there. But I'm gonna go get them, and we're gonna talk about.
about him, okay? So I'm going to put Mr. Stinker back, and then we're going to talk about her, okay? 